then you went to jail. Why why'd you go to jail? What happened? Um, because when I was eighteen I caught a charge and then the whole time like you guys knew me I had a whole warrant out for me. What was the charge? Um eluding the police. For like what? I ran away from the cops. So for what? What were they looking what were you for? Doing? You? I was driving and my friends were like hopping out of the cars and like stealing shit. I was a kid. You and then the, the police caught us and then I was like scared. So I like, I kept driving and then I was like, oh my God, they're going to shoot at me. Like, I didn't know. You so abandoned I, like, the guys? Huh? You left the guys? No, they all got back in oh, the car and then I okay. drove. And then I pulled over because I was like thinking I was going to die. So <laughs> I, everyone ran out of the car and I just stayed in the car and then I went to jail and then I was on probation and then I just, Wanted to move to Miami, so I was like, fuck probation. And then I had a warrant, and then, yeah. And, they and I never got caught until May of last year. And how did they catch you this time? Mm, my best friend snitched on me. Snitched on you? Like, told mm -hmm. the cops where you were staying? Yeah. In it was Colorado? a surprise party, because I had a surrogate, and I, it was my best friend, and I paid her to have a child for me. And then Wait it was, yeah. With, with what guy? Um, that doesn't matter. So, so do you have a baby right now? No, she had an abortion as soon as I went to jail. And she kept all the money. Wait a minute. Wait, the what? surrogate had an mm -hmm. abortion? Things yeah. I never thought I would hear. Bro, it was crazy. I know. I have the best friends in the world. What made you want to have a kid at that moment? I just, I think I was just ready to be a mom. I'm kind of happy I don't have a kid now, but. Not to be too judgmental yeah. or anything, no, but so you're up. not. <laughs> Yo, you're just what? not. Like, yeah. you had a warrant out yeah. for your arrest. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's also too. I was like, damn, I have no place to be a mom. Holy shit! So they catch yeah. you. Your they ratted you out, and then they caught you where? They went to your house? No, at the surprise party. I had like a gender reveal party. She surprised <laughs> me with the gender reveal party. Found out it was a girl. I was so happy. And then we were leaving. I was surrounded by police. The, oh my god! The cops were waiting for you at mm, the gender reveal. Were, they had their guns out. Everything It was like some crazy like movie stuff. This is all real. Yes, I swear. I, 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 I wish story. I was making this up. And they locked I you wish. up. They yes. let you get a surrogate if you just want to have a kid with your friends. That's like real. They let you do yeah. that. Yeah, there's no like approval Well, we kind of did it like, you know, behind the court. I paid her and her boyfriend to, to just make you a yeah. baby. But yeah. so it was your egg? No, I just wanted to adopt her baby. It was her so and her then boyfriend. So then how is it a surrogate? So I, it's I guess it wasn't like a surrogacy, surrogacy. I kind of did it like black market type shit, but... <laughs> Yeah, oh, I, I don't know, know what I was thinking honestly. Because now that I look back at it, I'm like, bro, like, what was I thinking? I'm just gonna get pregnant myself. I don't care. How much money did you give this person? It was like thirty. Okay. Around like thirty k, and then I bought her a car and paid off her lease. That is kind of black market because yeah. I think a surrogate's like a hundred k, or at least the nice ones. Yeah, the nice ones. <laughs> the nice ones. Yeah, they're all nice. What? The yeah, fuck? she had an abortion. That is an amazing story. So mm -hmm. okay, then you just get locked up. Like you didn't come home after that. They kept you. Mhm. Mm I didn't get a bail. I didn't get anything. I went to from jail to prison, and then in prison there was only one prison in Colorado for females, and I was getting like five thousand letters per week. From who? And from the people who left me. Fans? Wait, yeah, because I was on TMZ. I was trying to keep it like a low profile. I was like, I was going to come out of prison and be like, I'm a changed woman, y'all. Like, I just took a break from the internet. No. They no. were reporting on it while you were gone. They were what did the letters it. say? Just like they loved me and like just to keep my head up. I, I read a lot of them because I had a lot of time. And yeah, that was just it. And then they just kind of kicked me out of prison. They were like, yeah, we don't need you here. Like, you can go to a halfway house, and then I spent seven months in a halfway house. Right. right. How do you feel when you look at this? Terrible. Can you stop? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you know how bad it was? I had to take out my extensions, my lashes. It was so bad. It I, was so bad. I recall not really, like, reporting or commentating on your arrest or so imprisonment that bad. much, but I do remember the internet kind of lighting up when that mugshot got released. So bad. The guards were telling me, they're like, yo, the internet's flaming you right now. I was like, thanks. Thanks. Wow. How long but did you actually stay in prison, not the halfway house? I only did 60 days, so everyone thought I was, like, 60 days in. Were you having lesbian sex with any of these women? Yeah, I have her tattooed right there. Wait, really? Joyce? You got to do with Joyce? Yeah. Shut up. She's still I, in there? I swear. Yeah, she's a murderer. A murderer? Mm -hmm. What'd she look she like? She a girlfriend. Like a boy. Like mm -hmm. a boy. So she, she was the like dyke side of things? I didn't fuck her. She fucked me. With what? Cucumber? No. That's a good idea, though. But no, um, <laughs> with like a handmade. <laughs> a handmade sex object? Yeah. Like a fake penis in jail? Yeah. 
what the fuck? So <laughs> well, it's either I was gonna fuck the guards or I was gonna fuck the inmates, and the inmates came first because I wasn't spending two years not fucking. Two so. months. <laughs> I thought I was really gonna do two years. I got sent to two years. Why did you only do two months? Because um, they were, I was getting a lot of letters. Like the girls were trying to fight me. They didn't have PC there, protective custody. Really? Because so there's no famous people in Colorado. To, literally not. The most famous person they ever had was the worst shooter. The who? Like you know the Batman people, the guy. Oh, the Aurora shooter! Wow, yeah. he was in there. Mm-hmm. Damn. In their like male sized prison, because it was like a female and then a male side, and that was the most famous person they ever had. And he got shipped to a whole other state because he kept getting jumped and stuff. Wow. That's I didn't insane. get touched, luckily, but. Wow, and so okay. Besides falling in love with Joyce, uh, and getting I had fu- fucked by her with a wait. Well, you fell in love with someone else besides yeah, Joyce. How did Joyce two. feel about that? They're beefing. It was like love and hip hop. Really? <laughs> in jail. With yeah. You? I was so bored in my life. I turned that shit up. I had fun. We need to why. file some freedom of information requests so we can get some sexy <laughs> footage of you like Lil J and King Von. But I wish I had a phone in there. I would make great OnlyFans content. That's what I was thinking. I was like, so when do I get my phone? And the guards were like, it don't work like that here. I have so many questions. When do I get yeah. my phone? Like, yeah. ma'am, you like, are in prison. Well, because I was going to, like, pay them to give me a phone or, like, fuck, whatever you got to do to give me a phone. And I, right. There were some fine-ass guards, but I didn't fuck the guards. I mean, all these male prisoners are getting phones in prison. Yeah. And they don't yeah, even have yeah, vaginas. You, yeah. So. So then you go to the halfway house for seven months. Mm-hmm. What is it like in there? I shared a room with, like, seven other girls. And then... Do you stay there the whole time, or does it mean that you can leave? No, I can leave. I can leave. So you get out, and you get released, like, to the world. But, like, nine to five, right? You have, yeah, you have to have a job. You have to have a job to leave. You get, like, family passes, but, like, holidays. I only got, like, three hours out. I That's when I was, like, in my bag, and I was, like, yo, like, I got to do something. So I bought a store, and then I made a boutique. Yeah, I You did all that because you didn't want to get a regular job? Yeah. And they don't (laughs) consider OnlyFans a job? No, they didn't know I was doing OnlyFans. They didn't find out? I don't think, I think it was like a don't ask, don't tell, because like, I don't think they wanted that. Did you open the store just because Yeah. you needed it? And, and so now it's closed because you don't need it no, anymore? No, it's still, it's still ran, but I gave it to like my best friend that lives in Denver. And who, what, what do you sell out of the store? What do you do in the store? Clothes. But mostly like I had like a back room where it was like a TV, a couch. My phone, a computer. So I was chilling and I just hired a girl to run the store. I was like, do whatever you want. And I was in the back room, just chilling, living my life. And then, but because I was like my own boss, I made my own schedule. So I was like, oh, I have to work 15 hours. And I would just go chill. Instead of staying at the halfway house. Mm-hmm. And then I would go back to the halfway house, sleep, and then wake what up are, and go back. Do, are they like preaching to you or like what are they doing and they're just checking in with you and like no it was so simple you get breathalyzed every day so i didn't drink for like a whole year and then that's really it so you've served your time they're not gonna look for you anymore no i'm done and so you get another charge no i'm never (laughs) going back wow i'm a changed woman damn so who actually was reaching out to you and showing support while you were locked up just like people who followed me no celebrities we know you being associated no, with I all wish. these guys black youngster no. didn't tap in no ak did ak was on my phone list he was on the phone list how, mm-hmm. how much were you talking to him i talked to him a lot until i realized i was fucking blocked because his stupid girlfriend changed my contact name under um scam only or something like that she changed so her name to never, scam only <laughs> yeah so he never answered my calls no and scam likely scam likely yeah, yeah. Scam, yeah. scam only oh yeah. yeah. that is hilarious <laughs> yeah that crazy bitch and so he stopped answering my calls and then when i got out i found out why you're so pissed you're calling and calling and calling mm-hmm. and he's like oh scam likely he's calling he's like, me again yeah. he hangs up every time i wouldn't answer like once oh. i was calling him every day and he never he didn't answer and then when i got out i was like wow so you just left me and he's like, bro, you was on your scale only. I didn't know. 